I just have a big hole. I have a big, huge hole in my, in my world right now. And I, 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 was, I was like a second mom, and then I took care of her about half the time. So she was out, you know, she'd be out here in the swing and smiling and good. I mean, she was a good baby. She was so good. I loved having her here. She was a little, she's just, you know, happiness and joy right here in my house that, you know, if I was having a bad day, I could hold her and, and feel better. And she just was wonderful. Her door was closed. I thought they were in their sleep. And, and about 11, the police knock on the door and ask if I know her woman in this car and is there a baby in the house? That was just, that baby's always with one of us. And for that to not be the case was like infallible to me. I, I was hoping she gave her away for drugs or something and she'd still be alive or, or she sold her or, you know, I, I would rather have that be the case than what happened. At least she'd be alive. And I was just hoping that that was the case. I'm confused, I'm upset, I, I'm mad, I'm angry. I, I can't believe. And just the way she, pictures I saw of her in court and her mannerisms and behavior, I, that's not the Sarah that I know. And I don't want to know that Sarah. Grace was in my life for a reason. I needed her that time. And maybe she needed me. And maybe God was ready to have her back. And so that he could send her to someone else. I don't know. But that's kind of what I like to believe.